now that my car's engine has been sitting open for quite a while, um, it started to rust. Today, hopefully you guys can hear me over this wind, so I'm gonna have to talk a little loud. Um, today, I'm gonna to be replacing this entire harness. As you can see, it's got some damage. Clearly, uh, something happened here with my headers the last time. Not really sure what it was, but um, I'll be getting rid of this wire harness here. I need to do this one, but that spiders and the stuff that I can't reach just yet it goes all the way around the engine bay, all the way over here. So. For now, I'm gonna just go ahead and get this harness out the way and take it off the starter and take it off uh, one more thing down there. But other than that, it's pretty much off. And take it off the PCM because there's a connector right there, as you can see, that goes to the PCM. Uh, take that off and I'll be able to get this thing off. So let's get this thing started. All right, well, I had to fight with this. As you can see, it took me quite a while to get the sensor off connector. You can't really see it because it's too dark, but it's right there. It sits next to the starter. As you can see, fighting that off, you got melted. Get the rest of the plastic in here. But let me show you what it looks like. This is the connector right here. That got stuck. I mean, it was completely like, Since I got that out, this whole side, this whole side is free, right here. Um, there's nothing else connected, there's nothing else left. Let's take out this PCM. Uh, I've got everything else over here off. As you can see, oh, there's that. Got all of this off. Um, O2 sensors are back there. And the uh, knock sensor, got that off. Let's see what else. There's pretty much nothing. The AC condenser. That. These kind of disrespectful ass. If you know my car is something, right? Why would you put all this shit next to my car? You could have gone across the street. You could have gone over there. You could have gone down there. Like, why the fuck would you put this shit right here, man? Like, that's fucking stupid. Alright, I'm done ranting for the day. Sorry. Last time I was out here, they cut the grass right next to my car like I wasn't standing. I don't fucking know. Anyway, hopefully you can hear me over this wind. Like I said, I'm gonna try to talk a little louder. Um, let's see. What else I got here? Yep, that's it. That's the whole harness right here. Just a bolt. Just a bolt. My Jimmy rig to keep it off the transmission because my uh, transmission mount plate wasn't there for the harness. 
kind of difficult doing this with one hand. Now, where does this go? This goes down to the MDS solenoids. So, of course I already knew that I had to get that out, but I wanted that to happen on purpose so I could show you all that that is also a part of the harness, the engine bay harness here. So, get all this out of the way. It's all out of the way. So, so far that's the whole harness right there. I mean, there's absolutely nothing else left. Still got this there, but you know, that's good, so I'm not too worried about it. Get the PCM, pop that on in a second. And uh, get these MDS uh, plugs out. So the noise out of here. These are the these are just the uh, alternator bolts. This is an old head bolt I used to pull the crank off. So that I know where these go. So let's pull this out of the way. Let's pull up this phone very carefully. This is almost completely off, as you can see. The only thing left is what? The PCM. So, I'm gonna take this one. Alright. Well, I've taken my PCM off quite a few times, so this isn't connected. As you can see, like I said, something melted. You can see that that's melted as well. Um, this isn't even in there. This is rusted. Look at that. See that shit? this out. Now if you're paying attention, this here goes up to this one in the middle. So, red tab, push, push and pull.
right there. Here's the old harness. You can just look at it until it's all beat up, worn out, old. I mean, and it's crazy. I just put it in here a couple months last year, last year a couple months ago. I mean, but look at it. It's toasted. It's burnt. The connectors done ripped off. The wires are just. I mean, who knows what the fuck happens when your engine's running. Give me that because my dang old what's name was fucking up. The old pumps and everything. I mean, old pressure center unit, everything was just, yeah, it was, it was smooth. So, but I always keep these just in case. I still have the last harness that I replaced. I always keep these just in case. Something on here that I can't get at the moment needs to be spliced. I can take it from here. So, always remember, keep what you can. This is the new one. There's absolutely nothing wrong with this. Nothing. Nothing at all. So, let's go ahead and put this in. Now, I'm not gonna hold you guys everywhere I go. I'm just gonna put the camera down and let y'all watch me do what I do. As you can see, I got the harness in. So I mean, it's it's not tight because uh, I still want to be able to maneuver it once I put the engine back together. I'll tighten all the bolts later. You know, of course I can't put any of this stuff on just yet. I've got headers and yada 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 to put on and shit like that. So um, yeah, but it's on. Everything is pretty much there. O2 sensor connected or NDS. I just gotta put the phone back on but other than that that's about it I guess I could toss this out I don't really need this anymore it's just done but yeah that's that's it well people just like that the segment is done Let's get to it. Next segment, putting the engine together.